Hi folks. All right. Let's talk a little bit about altitude and azimuth. This is a second way to locate something in the sky um, besides right ascension and declination. Now, altitude and azimuth I find much easier. It's a lot easier than right ascension and declination. But the challenge is it's going to change. The location of a star is going to change depending upon your location on the Earth and the time of the day. So why the heck am I going into a system like altitude and azimuth that is not as precise, it's not as scientific as right ascension and declination? Well, we have on our phones, many of us have astronomy apps, and astronomy apps are wonderful to help tell exactly where a star is going to be because the computer programs behind those apps are so good. Altitude and azimuth has become very, very useful. First off, altitude. Altitude, as you can imagine, means how high. And it's how high an object appears above the horizon. And it's typically given in degrees because we are talking about, um, just like in math class, if you are on the x-axis, you have are at zero degrees. On the y-axis, you are at 90 degrees. And as you go from zero degrees up towards 90 degrees, you are so many degrees above the horizon. Well, that's exactly how altitude works. If something, if you happen to be standing right here and you look for a star and it is at zero altitude, it is right on the horizon. If you look for a star and it has an altitude of 90 degrees, it's right above your head. And if it happens to be um, about halfway, it's about 45 degrees above the horizon. This is where using your hands as measurement tools are really, really handy because you can then go up so many degrees using your little fists or fingers and that will help locate where that star is. Azimuth is related to the geography of the Earth. Um, azimuth is the direction that a, you have to look to see a star. So if you are given that a star has an azimuth of zero, you look towards the north. If you are told that a star has an azimuth of 90, you look towards the east, south 180, west 270, etc. This is very much like, exactly like, compass headings if you are going to try and navigate with your little compass out in the woods someplace. So it just kind of tells you what direction to look. So let's practice a little bit. Um, this gets to be a little bit of a challenge because of the fact that as you're watching these videos, excuse me, technical difficulties, as you're watching these videos, you are not in the same room that I am in. So what I'm going to ask you to do is hit pause and look at these different directions and these different, excuse me, these different directions, azimuths, these different altitudes, remember to use your hands and see if you can figure out um, if one of these happens to be pointing towards a door, towards a window, towards your pet poodle, whatever. So hit pause, practice this, and come back. All right, did you find a few things? Same sort of thing on a quiz, on a test, I might ask you questions like this. So I want you to be familiar with these angle measurements with your hands, and I want you familiar with this concept of altitude and azimuth. So that's going to end this talk, and we'll see you next time.